The provincial government has slashed the number of school districts in New Brunswick. Education Minister Jody Carr revealed restructuring plans in January. The number of districts is being cut from 14 to 7. Carr says the move followed public input. This new operational model is the result of extensive consultation that included more than 500 submissions from around the province, numerous meetings with stakeholders from district education councils, teacher, teachers and principals, to parents and ac um, academics with expertise with school reform. Carr says the plan will save $5 million each year. He says the money will allow schools to focus more on learning. Carr confirmed earlier this month almost $2.5 million will be saved in the current fiscal year. The restructuring means job losses for 65 people. We did some crunching of the numbers to find out how the cuts may impact students and districts. Right now there are 14 school districts in New Brunswick, 9 Anglophone and 5 Francophone. According to the Department of Education website, there are over 103,000 students enrolled in 317 public schools. On average, there are 23 schools in each district, with an average of 7,400 students. On July 1st, there will be 7 school districts, 4 Anglophone and 3 Francophone. The Anglophone districts will be known as the South, East, West and North districts, with district offices located in St. John, Moncton, Fredericton and Miramichi. The Francophone districts will be named South, Northeast and Northwest, with offices in Dieppe, Trakadie Shila and Edmonston. Each school district will have more schools and students. On average, each district will have 45 schools. That is less than in Nova Scotia, which has 53 schools per district. In Ontario, there are an average of 59 schools in each district. When it comes to students, New Brunswick will have approximately 15,000 students per district. That is similar to Nova Scotia, which has an average of 16,000 students. The number is larger in Ontario, with around 25,000 students per district. The change in school districts means fewer district education council seats are being contested. In the 2008 election, there were 158 seats available in 14 school districts. The number of council seats is reduced by more than half to 68. There were between 11 and 13 councillors per district in the previous layout, which have changed to between 7 and 13 councillors. Not only are the number of seats in each district fewer, but the districts themselves are larger, meaning each elected representative will have more constituents than before. In Nova Scotia, a province with more schools and students in each district, the average number of school board members per district is 13. Each member represents an average of 1,900 students in Nova Scotia and 1,500 in New Brunswick. The current superintendent of District 17, David McTimoney, says while staff at his office are worried about their jobs, they are helping each other through the changes. Carr says the department intends to make the transition go smoothly between Election Day and July 1st when the new structure is in place. Brad Perry, Community College News.